so we are we are going to consider the collection interface and the collection framework basically so we have to see the sets we have to see the list and the array list is also there so we have to see all of them okay so uh, basically the collection it is nothing but list and sets are basically similar to the collection interface so, so this is nothing but the interface as we know that interface is just providing the references so we need to override some of the methods of the collection interface into our program so that we can able to use those utilities which was previously defined the collection interface describes the operations that are common to both it is basically common to the list and sets maps are fundamentally different from list and sets okay so what are the some of the methods for example if you want to add something into the collection interface using collection interface in that case the first method is nothing but the add method it adds an object to the collection it adds an object to the collections the method returns to if zero is adds an object let us say the object is successfully added to the collection false otherwise if it is added successfully then at that time it is returning to whether we are checking here in this case we are checking that whether the content or the object is added or not if you want to remove all the elements we are using the statement as clear then contains returns true if o is an element of collections okay it contains o that is nothing but collection it is returning the boolean values boolean value is nothing but it is either true or false okay then we are checking whether it is whether the collection is totally empty or not the content collection container is empty or not return true if there is no element in the collection false otherwise okay so if it is empty then at that time it is returning true else it is false then iterator it returns an object called an iterator that can be used to examine all elements stored in the collections iterator is basically used to move uh, throughout the container contents the contents which are available in the collection we are moving with the help of the iterators okay so it returns an object it returns an object called an iterator which can be used to examine all elements stored in the collection okay so all the elements which are stored in the collection so that could be ob uh, that could be observed in this okay then the remove remove is basically to remove the particular objects we are using the remove and to check the size of that particular collection we are using the container we are using the method the name is size okay it is returning the total number of elements which are available into that particular collection container okay so basically uh, the sub part of the collection that is the abstract collection the abstract collection class provides a skeleton implementations for the collection class by implementing many of the methods of the collection interface okay so this is nothing but it is nothing but the, just like the skeleton implementations of a collection class okay it is implementing many of the methods of the collection interface the programmers can create a working collections class by providing implementation for iterator size and overriding add object okay so basically the iterator size and add those could be the uh, those could be the uh, functions which we can able to use whenever we are dealing with a container okay using the collections i think this much is sufficient for this session is concerned